Hey creators! As a mixed media artist with a love of art journaling, I love the idea of creating a layered project in Photoshop that I can move over into Cricut and then cut as a multiple matte cut. Not a print then cut, but multiple colors, multiple mattes. I was under the impression that you could save a multiple layered Photoshop file, possibly as an SVG, that would come over into Cricut as a group and then once imported into Cricut would already be in layers. So you could just pop it into your workspace and boom, there's your layers. Click, make it, and voila! But sorry, not that easy. It's a little convoluted a little complicated. So since I was having trouble finding information, I called Cricut again, their customer support, always so cheerful and happy. So I learned you can't save a layered project as a group to be brought over, but there is a workaround, so it's not impossible. It's pretty simple. Let me show you. In Photoshop, I created a simple three-layered design of a street lamp. There is the gray, the black, and the white. I also made sure that I was working on a transparent background. This will come in very handy when we get into Cricut. You can see in Photoshop over here on the left the three layers in the layers panel. The object is to get from here to here, having a multiple matte cut in Cricut. The first thing you want to do is always make a copy of your Photoshop file. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but we will be merging the layers in Photoshop before we go over to Cricut. So in the future, if you want to make changes to your project, keep a copy to maintain your layered file. And just so you know, if you were to keep the layers in Photoshop and then save it independently, in other words, just save layer 1 as a PNG file, then layer 2 as a PNG file, and layer 3, and so on, when you bring it into Cricut, those individual files will resize themselves and not match up the way they are in Photoshop. I'll show you that later. Be working on a canvas larger than your project because you will need to separate the project parts. You basically want to keep your colored pieces together. Now my project is simple. The only color with multiple pieces are the gray highlights for my street lamp. So they're already clustered. As you create your groups, leave space between them. This will help you when we get over into design space. Go ahead and merge your layers. Again, this is why you want to save a copy of your project in case you want to make changes later. You can save it as a ping or PNG file. All right, let's head over to Cricut Access. Before I bring you into the canvas, I want to point out the size differences when I saved each Photoshop layer independently as their own PNG file. You can already see that the sizes are distorted, which means when I brought them into my workspace, I had to get them to fit and I couldn't really get it perfect. Okay, we're in Cricut Design Space working on a new blank canvas. You want to click Upload, get your file, and it will appear in the preview window. Go ahead and choose Complex and click Continue. This is what I really like about creating my own designs in Photoshop on a transparent background because when you get to this window here, there's nothing to do. All your edges are crisp and the background is already transparent so 
nothing to do here. Let's click continue. Okay, we're not doing a print then cut image, so make sure to click on the box on the right where it says save as a cut image. Now that the project is in Cricut Workspace, I know I can hear what you're saying. It's grouped as one image and I want them to be separated so I can change their colors. That's what we're here to do, to make them so you can group or ungroup them. If you took the time to make sure your different color groups were separated while we were over in Photoshop, this part is going to be easy peasy. You want to grab a shape, any shape, just so you can put it over a group. Go ahead and switch up the layers so that your shape is underneath and now you can see what you're doing. You can resize the shape, but don't make extra work for yourself as long as the shape is covering your group. Now select the two layers and slice. Delete all those extras that are created when you slice in Cricut. And you're left with, ta-da, one of your separate layers, all independent and on its own. Just do this now for each of your other groups. And there you have it. You can change your colors. And when you click on make it, you'll find that they're on separate mats. And just so you know, maybe we can consider this a tip for mixed media artists working with paper. Most times I do a single color, single mat cut, even though my end product is going to be uh, many layers and multicolored. But that's because I enjoy using watercolors or alcohol markers to color my paper. It saves me from having to keep an inventory of different colored papers in stock and it's an outlet for a little bit more creativity. So I use a 65 pound white cardstock and even have it set as a favorite in my Cricut tools. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. I know it seems real obvious to me now, but when I was first trying to get this done, I was banging my head against the wall and so frustrated because I couldn't understand uh, why you couldn't bring over a group. So, hey, don't forget to laugh at life. Laugh a lot. Be well. Be safe.